Oh, there's so much chat about chat, chat GPT for coaches, whether they should use it or not in their business. Are they going to be penalized if they create articles on YouTube? It's too robotic. You can't use it to create awesome content to connect with your audience. There's just so much buzz and so much chatter around using chat GPT for your coaching business that I thought I would come on and share my perspective. Well, I absolutely think it is an awesome tool to use. It is phenomenal. I have been playing around with it for a while now. And one of the ways that I like to use it is to create copy that connects with my audience using my voice so it's not mechanic. So how do you do that? Lots of people are saying it's too robotic. It sounds like a machine. It's not warm. It's not human. It's, you know, it's just scraping information, putting it together and people are using it. That is definitely not the way that I would recommend to use ChatGPT. What I do is I always work with a script. So it's in my voice, my tone of voice. It's with my unique perspective. It's with the words it is that I want to use. It is tailored to the people it is that I want to get in front with. So I created a mini hero story the other day. And to do that process on ChatGPT, I had to have a framework to work from. So I needed to write out my hero sto story. This was just a little snippet of a hero story. It wasn't the whole journey. I just wanted to create a, an insight, something that would bring my audience closer to me something that people would be able to relate to relate to another insight into my world so what i needed to do is i needed to give it prompts i needed to give it instructions i needed to give it who i am my voice what it is i sound like the the juice of the content that is going to come across as authentically me rather than just saying create me a hero story and then just giving a little bit of an example. I went into the detail. I then uploaded the detail so it could produce it in my voice. Now, of course, it's not going to be right the first time off. You're going to need to adjust it. You'll need to go into change the language, the tone and voice, how it is that you want to come across. But you can absolutely 100% use chat GPT to produce incredible content for your business. Now, one of the things that coaches have often struggled with online is being able to move into a position of claiming topical authority for their niche. We haven't been able to compete against the people who have been spending thousands and hundreds of thousands of pounds on digital marketing agencies to get them up the ranks of number one in Google. Now we have access to chat GPT, we are able to compete on a completely different level as long as we give it the framework, as long as we give it our unique perspective, our twist, our flavor, written in context for our audience so we can inspire and motivate them, so we can share our knowledge, our insight and our wisdom. It is a fantastic tool for either personal coaches, transformation, the trans people in the transformational space, business coaches, that's how I'm using it, I'm just about to create a landing page using it for my new program, Legacy, creating your first signature program. But I have to give it the instructions. I have to give it the prompts. I have to do it in my unique voice. It's phenomenal, though, because once you've created what you think is great, you're happy with it, you can run it back through ChatGPT and you can say, what have I missed? <laughs> what have I missed? I love this prompt. What have I missed? And occasionally it will go, you haven't missed anything. And I'm like, oh, am I clever? <laughs> but then on other occasions it will go, oh, here's five points to consider. And those five points are a different perspective. I may use them, I may not. I'll need to rewrite them and reshape them into my voice, my tone. But it's given me a new perspective, something to think about, something I can use that I hadn't thought about before. It's incredible. I've even started asking it questions. Is this right? Is this wrong? What do you think of this? What are the pros and cons? It's brilliant. It's like it's becoming my own personal assistant. It's becoming like my, my uh, it's my little mini me.
little mini me. So in answer to the question, can coaches use ChatGPT for their business to grow their business? Absolutely, yes. And I've just spoken about one small thing here but you know you can do lead generation you can do all sorts of things with chat gpt i'm just talking about content creation and using it to amplify your voice so you can make a bigger impact and really think about what i said about topical authority and competing we are now moving into a space where we can compete with the big players because we can produce really great content quickly in seconds in minutes, in hours, which we otherwise could not create before. And especially for someone like me who's dyslexic, dyslexic, it is absolutely life-changing. So let me know below, how are you using ChatGPT for your business? Have you just looked at it? How are you thinking of using it? I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on what you think about using it for your business. Do you think it's a great idea? Do you think it's a bad idea, let me know and um, I will come back to you personally. Oh, I have, I'm going to be creating how to use ChatGPT for your coaching business, whether that is personal or business. It's, it's relevant because as long as you've got the context, that's all that matters and you've got the niche, that's all that matters. So I've created a playlist. I'll pop it below this video. Please do um, consider cons subscribing let me know your thoughts if you want me to focus on any particular training on a particular area let me know and i will see what i can do but until next time i'm going to love and leave you remember bash the notification bell and subscribe to the channel